another year of Villanova football. Kevin Johnson, and it's going to be picked off by Alan Page with a 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the O'Day Terrace Lounge in Italia Athletic Center. I'm Steve Pannone. I'm joined by head coach Mark Ferrante. As we're all excited, it's 2019 signing day for the Villanova football program. Coach, a lot of work obviously goes into this class. You bring in 17 new student athletes from nine different states. You guys travel the country, obviously. Ten on offense, seven on defense. You got 11 during the early signing period and six signatures today. Let's just talk about the whole process. We're here to celebrate today, but it's a long right, process. Right, no, definitely. It's a year-round thing, and, you know, the, the signing days and the uh, effort our guys put out on the road kind of runs into each other. But first, I want to start out by thanking you for being here, and, you know, Mark Jackson and some of our administrations here in the audience and a lot of people from the Football 500 clubs here tonight, so we appreciate them being in attendance. And I, and I want to start out by thanking our staff. You know, they're the ones that are out there pounding the pavement and, hitting all these states that you're talking about and the ones putting the uh, groundwork in. So the efforts of our staff is what really makes this recruiting class special. And um, I, I, can't, I can't do it, obviously, without them. So I really want to thank our complete staff and everything that they've done. But as you mentioned, we did sign 11 guys in the early signing period. Uh, we had six more to come in today. And we'll talk about each guy individually here as we're moving forward. Um, but the signing period, the early signing period, is something that we do like. You know, it, it clears things up. It gives you ideas to where you are, what you need to do when you get to January after the holidays and so on. And the other thing about the early signing period, it allows not only us, but also the student athletes that have made the commitment and went and signed in December, their families can then relax a little bit yeah. and take some of the stress of the recruiting process out of it, enjoy their holidays while That's we can sure. enjoy our <laughs> holidays, and then uh, then you go full speed again in January until you get to today. So we're really excited about the class that's coming in this year. The 17 new student athletes are going to have to join the returning guys we have in the program. So, uh, you know, that's what tonight's about. It's a little bit of a celebration to welcome the new guys that are going to be part of our program as we move forward. All right, Coach, let's get that ball rolling, starting with the new guys. And uh, near and dear to your heart, we'll start up front where it all starts in the offensive line. You bring in three young men on the offensive line. We always talk about that, right? It always starts up front. It starts in the trenches. The game's won or lost at the line of scrimmage. I would say this past week Super Bowl uh, proved that as well. Not a high-scoring game, but a lot of things happening up front. So uh, we'll start out with, uh, we had two of these young men that did sign early and, and one that signed with us uh, today. But Billy Hambrook from Charlotte Catholic, uh, a place that we haven't really gone to until this year. And Charlotte seems to prove to be a pretty good area for us. Billy Hambrook is probably going to be center guard type guy for us. Uh, Three-time state champion, two-time all-conference and all-county player, uh, 2018 lineman of the year finalist and you know they won the Shrine Bowl so he's a really good inside guy we think he did play some tackle for his team but uh, we're real excited about Billy Hambrook coming up here from Charlotte Catholic he's a guy that you know is a good athlete uh, comes off the ball well as I said a great program being three-time state champion down there they he was gonna visit in December but uh, they were still playing wow. so he ended up signing in December and then took his official visit a little later so he was a guy that we're super excited about moving along in alphabetical order the new guy that added to the list uh, that signed with us this morning is Wyatt Hummel Wyatt Hummel is from Dallas Jesuit High School uh, we have never really gone down to Texas that much in the past, uh, but we, as I said earlier, the early signing period kind of cleans things up for you, and what is it you're looking for? So once we got done with the early signing period, we said, okay, we have one offensive line spot left, let's try to go find a tackle, you know, a longer guy, a good athlete, a guy who can move, good lateral agility, and so on and so forth, and Wyatt's film came across our desk, some of our coaches did a great job looking at Wyatt's film, and uh, again, from Dallas Jesuit High School, which may be an area now that we have a footprint yeah. in there. And you mentioned good size, 6'6 six, six up front. We can get to before. Yeah, 6'6", six, six, 275-pound athlete, um, first team all-district down there, really good player for us. Uh, you know, he's 
they, they, they play in the 6A level down right. there, so it's a big league. And they don't have just a Catholic league down there. They play some of the big schools, so Highland schools Park, and well. some of the schools in their area as well. So, And then rounding out the offensive lineman for us, a guy that we did see in the springtime, we got on him pretty early. We saw him in the summer camp, um, a, a really big guy, Jane Rowling. Jaden Rowling is a guy who, you know, measured out for us a smidge over 6'4". He's uh, been as heavy as 350 pounds. Uh, he's probably a little less than that right now, and he's a guy that we have a, a lot of respect for and real excited about him coming in here from Hudson Catholic and we're hoping that not a, obviously he's going to add some size to the up front but we think he might be a guy that could play inside or outside he's got good length to good him, versatility good length to him and so on and you know we'll see how it goes once you get these guys in your program you know the high school film and what you evaluated them off whether it be a live camp or what you see on their film junior senior year that you kind of throw that out the window and now you start your evaluation <laughs> process all over again Again, and you know these are guys that we uh, probably in our offensive line is where we were hit hardest through graduation. So this is an area of, that we wanted to make sure we uh, filled in some good gaps there, and we think we did with these three players. That's great, Coach. So you had, you had some obviously some quality people up front, and they got to protect somebody. So let's go to the quarterback position. Zach McNarzik obviously moving on after his eligibility is used up. You went out and got a quarterback. We went and got a quarterback. Another one of our early signings, Connor Watkins, out of Laurel Sock High School up there in Williamsport. Uh, good size guy, good athlete. You know, their basketball team right now, we actually went and watched them play during the course of our travels uh, in December and January. 